Well, calls are growing across the country to put an end to senseless acts of violence. The nation is reeling from the tragedy in Uvalde, Texas, that claimed the lives of 19 children and two teachers. And just two weeks before that, 10 innocent people were gunned down outside a supermarket in Buffalo. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette shows us how faith leaders are bringing the community together and offering support during this difficult time. In the name of peace, religious leaders of various faiths are addressing the tragedies in Buffalo, Oxford and Uvalde. Inside the Islamic House of Wisdom in Dearborn Heights, there's a moment of reflection and renewal, an opportunity to condemn killing and bloodshed like the type we've seen in Uvalde, Buffalo and Oxford. They're talking about hate, they're talking about violence, gun crimes and this kind of thing. The solution is one community and one family. Imam Mohammed Ali Elahi leading the prayer for a safer world in the wake of a rise in hatred and mass shootings. This is the responsibility of parenting. Uh, so many of this violence is related to irresponsible parenting. What we want to achieve is to voice the concern and uh, call for change because safety is a human rights issue. And we need to learn to come together and love each other again. Police, politicians and our religious leaders all agreeing finding common ground must be part of the solution along with addressing mental health and access to guns. They can't buy alcohol. They can't buy a lottery ticket. They shouldn't be able to buy a weapon. I'd like to take this back to Ghadir Saleh, Allah Yirhama. That was an unfortunate event that happened that could have been prevented. I hope additional safety measures will be put in place now. That last reference to Ghadir Saleh is of a young Yemeni American girl killed by a speeding driver on Belle Isle. Organizers wanting to point out that violence is not limited to guns. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you.